Greetings everybody watching me right now. Welcome back to Shakespeare's YouTube channel. Here we are going to have a live lecture about Microsoft Office Word. Please leave a like, give me some likes, give me some likes, comment, share and most importantly subscribe because if you subscribe you will never miss any new video that I'm going to upload on this channel for you guys. Right, so today uh, we're going to cover some concepts, fewer concepts as compared to the concepts covered previously in our previous lecture where we talked about uh, Microsoft Office Word. So um, the concepts include um, paragraphing, uh, page numbering, uh, references in terms of uh, inserting captions on images or figures, uh, uh, table of contents and uh, table of figures. Excuse me, we are also going to cover uh, page numbering and uh, page numbering formats. Uh, that is to say some few pages are numbered in uh, in, uh, in decimal values and some are numbered in Roman numeral value, values. So that's what we're going to cover today. And uh, for us, uh, for me not to waste your time, I will show you what you did last time. And then... Uh, also present uh, what we have today. Right. So previously we have worked on a, a project document which is like this, where we have covered uh, inserting some shapes, where we have covered inserting some shapes and uh, some text and editing this text. So if you really want to. Uh, watch this lecture, the previous lecture, where we talked about uh, word and more content. Uh, make sure you click on this suggested lecture. Keep on checking on the top uh, area of this uh, video content so that you can click on that and walk through the lecture you shall also be able to come up with such a document like this one where we have a table and some images but today uh, and I think last time we also covered uh, watermarks and other things uh, you shall also be able to do that and we have uh, navigation view on our left side but we have our heading, some pages and results and so forth and so forth. So that's for last time. That that's that is what we have covered last time. We have some references, which are which are in the form of uh, word fields. We have talked about this last time, but maybe somebody because maybe because somebody requested a special lecture about uh, references. I might cover that one as a single concept in a single lecture in the future. If you support that person, just type in the comment section and say we want referencing lecture. Just say referencing lecture. Right, so this is for last time. And then uh, for today, we shall be coming up with such a document like this one where we talk about um, the cover page like this a single cover page like that we look at uh, header, headers and footers we have our footer there and we shall also talk about the header which is not uh, showing here but uh, I'm sure it must be showing Maybe I've opened the wrong document. My 
get it sweat dry. Let me try to open this one and check if uh, no, that's not it. That's a previous one. So we'll look at how we can work around with footers and headers. And here is a list of uh, table figures or list of figures. It's an automated one, which uh, the one that you can uh, actually update automatically. And here we have our chapters and some text. And you can see that this text is aligned somewhere, and this one is aligned somewhere. Uh, so let's rush through. And here are some comments on how these things are done. Chapter 2, which looks at uh, heading, headers and footers. And then you can observe that uh, the number numbering on chapters chapter pages is of this type and then if you check on these other chapters on these other pages from chapter one we have page one but this page with abstract is numbered in this form so that's what we are going to cover today so let me just close that one and check this one zoom, zoom, so that you can see the numbering there so let's not waste much of our time let's rush into it so if you want you want to create a new document then you say new so what's on our cover page and then what's on our cover page we have covered how to enter text in a document how to type some text in a document how to copy and paste some text in the document so if you want to uh, learn that uh, refer yourself to the previous lecture about weight so today we are just going to type the text and uh, do the practical thing so I will try to move a bit fast so that we do not waste our time. We don't want this to take more than one hour. If it takes more than hour, one hour it must not exceed one hour fifteen, right? So this is it: word processing, and then words twenty sixteen in brackets. Practical two. That's what we have. So let's just uh, minimize this and put this one aside, aside and then minimize that as well and then put this page so the page that we are working on is the one this one which is named document one and we shall rename it to something else which is uh, a bit meaningful than just saying that than just saying uh, document one. So what we want to start with is uh, the cover page. So we want to copy this text, this text, but we don't copy it that way. We just type in. So we say word processing because uh, uh, if I copy it and paste it to that side you will never know how it was uh, formatted to that uh, to that style and to that um, color and so forth so here we say word processing and in brackets we say word 2016 because I am using word numbers of uh, office 2016 but if you are using anything above 2007 or even 2007 it can do this um, but it's better if you work with the latest version of office right so we what we do next is let me just keep my time uh, is that let me make sure that uh, by 45 minutes from now we must be done 45 or less right so what we want to do now is 45 or less right so here we centralize it like it is there and then we choose this formatting 
and then we bold our text we increase the size we change the font type of font family to times new roman and then we click here just to check the size is 22 and then here we click that up until we get to 22 right so that's it and then we change the font color to this which is the same as that one and then uh, this is capitalized so we go there capitalize on text and then we press enter so that we type practical practical two so that we, we try practical two right and then we say this is caps so what i can do is on my keyboard i can click on caps so that i can type everything in caps lock all right so here it's saying priority count two is this exactly what is written there Yes, practical two, right? So after that, we enter twice and then say first, right? Let's deactivate our caps lock and then we say first name and then we put that and then you put your name here. If you are Shakespeare, you say Shakespeare, if you are not, you say whatever you are. Last name. My last name is so you see here. This is not uh, recognized by the English dictionary. So you right click and then click the correct phrase or correct term. And then my surname is Morty, and that's what I want this document to be. Then my registration number, registration number my registration number is C12127 32A so I want this to be keep the letters so I minimize my keyboard and then change here and say double kiss so that's it I think I'm done with the cover page if not mistaken so that's the cover page that's how it is simple as simple as that but now uh let's say our document is uh, pro 2 let's just say it is word processing pro 2 yes right here all right so you now have our document like that Let's press enter, 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 right. So if we press enter, enter, we get another page. As you, if you can check here at the status bar, status uh, area here, you can see that uh, we are now having two pages and we are on the second page. And uh, on second page, what do we have uh, from the page that we are copying? Second page, we have contents of uh, type of contents. Uh, here, you can leave it like that. Let's just uh, leave. Let's just say contents here. Let's just say type of contents, so that uh, we know that this page is meant for table of contents. And then we press enter, 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 enter. Up until we get to the third page in this third page what do you have from the page from the document that we're copying we have in table figures we just say table figures here figures well in actual fact let's just put the items so instead of say table of contents here let's just put the table of contents there 
so the moment we get a new page right we say references so as you get to references tab what do you want tab of contents and then you choose the first one contents table creating a table of contents start by applying a heading style from the styles gallery to the selected text okay so our table of contents is empty you see let's get down and have table figures which is going which is also going to be empty insert table figures under captions references tab captions and then insert table figures we we'll choose this one we we'll just say okay no table figures entry is found that's fine so the moment we come when we come next we shall see we shall see update and see some uh, some table figure some list of figures coming up so we say enter 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 until we get to the fourth page right on the fourth page what do you have on this page we have an abstract and uh, the abstract on the fourth page so the abstract is going to be copied as it is from here we just say copy then here we put abstract is our heading and then we say control v right let's just keep text here so that you see so these are options for copying for pasting you can see keep source formatting to say the way the text was formatted in the original document shall be kept to this document and then uh, you may merge to say the formatting that i am having in my uh, destination document must be the same formatting to the text that i'm pasting on this document so i may just keep the text and then paste it here so if i do this and then maybe i can highlight the text that i want to, to edit here and then go to home and then uh, reduce the size to 12 which i think is the standard one and here i can um, do what what can i do let me remove bolt here and then we'll move, put it back to automatic so let, let's remove the style and get back to our original one yes that's the original one and then uh, we can just file our text All right so abstract this abstract from the original document how is it so that color and that size 16 so what i want to do is want this abstract to be of heading 2 so heading 2 that's it so what you do is every text that is going to be of heading 2 will be styled so instead of editing every heading 2 we can modify here you right click here and then say modify so let's start by uh, editing uh, heading 2 heading one so let's modify heading one must be of size 22 and it must be bolded and with that color and it must update automatically when we have a new heading one text click ok here but this one is not heading one it's heading two so we click heading two and edit it again we want heading two to be of size uh, 20 and then be bolded automatically update click ok and then heading 3 mode 5 we want heading 3 to have that color and we want it to have a uh, size 16 and then let's have it bolded update automatically ok and then heading 4 we modify it as well we want this one to be of size 12 uh, let's just say 40 and then you bolt it and idolize it 
update automatically and say okay right and then we highlight this and we want this one to be heading to right like that and then we centralize it and then we save our document but this word processor was folded in the previous document right and we can right click in with that one to say we process are you just editing right we are done with our item and then if you want to see the navigation bar here just click on view navigation pin we now have it there we now have our abstract and then if you go up here to our table of contents and update it you will see that we now have abstract you know what i'm saying we now have abstract on page four we go down to page four if if you are here you can actually click here and go to page four straight so that's it uh, let's check the document that we're copying it's here and then the next page is chapter one now so we move to chapter one we enter 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 up, up until we get to page five keep checking here to make sure that you see that you are now on page five right we are now on page five so here we go to home and then we say heading one and our heading one is of type what is uh, sorry our heading one is what chapter one right and we just centralize it here we may edit here modify here we can click here click here and then we documents based on this template yes and then okay so that every document that i create as a new document it will use these uh, formatting styles that i am um, uh, apply here so this is chapter one and it's of heading one and then chapter one is about what let's check on the document that we're copying paragraphing or text alignment so what we do is we type to say or we can just click to say heading two it's of what paragraphing paragraphing text alignment right so as you can see what is happening here is what will be happening in the table of contents up there right and then uh, let's go to the table of contents and update it update it here the entire table Oh, it's not even all these things but now I want this to be of heading 2 so that it appear in the table of contents all right so I save it there all right that's fine let's get to this position now what you have under this paragraph we have some text I'm sure and this is the text and this is the actual text about the notes most of you were asking me can we have the notes can we have the notes so i have uh, sent some notes and this document is also in, included in the notes that uh, we sent to you by somebody called mem sabayka <laughs> so that's it and then now uh, we we will do what we save our document and then we start with a wish alignment left alignment and left alignment is of uh, left alignment is of what uh, is of a uh, is heading three is of cell heading three so heading three is that so we say what left alignment here 
alignment let me say enter then we just copy text what I want you to observe is the alignment this is the text that we are going to copy just right click and copy then paste it here let's just paste it as let's just um, keep source text right you see that it's calibre of size 11 but i want it to be of this type so paragraphing is in this area under home tab paragraph paragraph uh, group and then we have left alignment center alignment and this is left alignment so text is already left aligned so these are the definitions and uh, some few notes about left alignment so you can observe that text is starting at this margin and even if we have some spaces it's not it's not uh, aligned to a specific margin here when uh, a line breaks it's, it's breaking on uh, it's breaking anyway where it feels that uh, the weight cannot can no longer fill the space that is left on uh, its uh, right side so that's what happens and uh, this are uh, some few notes and shortcuts on how one can uh, perform these uh, events using shortcut keys on the keyboard and uh, here is the image uh, left click so you just insert click on insert and then click on picture and we want to get the picture from where I Word processor and then in word processor left alignment is this one so that's the image we want to put so you can set that image and these are the steps one table alignment align text to the left under paragraph and then align text is aligned to the left like this you see that it's formal it's it's uniform this side but in that on that side it's not uh, uniform so we also want to have um, a, a caption on our on our image so what we do is we just press enter and go to references then under captions we insert caption but uh, here you can click on numbering to say include chapter number if you say don't include chapter number it will just say figure one figure two figure three but we may say figure chapter one is about uh, some figures chapter two is with some figures chapter three is with some figures and when you say figure seven in chapter three it doesn't make uh, a good flow so what we want is chapter one must have figure 1a figure 1b or figure 1 1 figure 1 2 figure 1 3 and then chapter 2 must say figure 2 1 figure 2 3 figure 2 4 so that's what we we put on numbering here we just say include chapter number so we will click on here include chapter number and say okay let's say okay but now the chapters are not numbered so this is chapter one so we want one on figure on every figure which exists within chapter one so we say figure one and one figure one two figure one three so all we do is we highlight that one and go to home then we apply this uh, this numbering and then we select this one say this so it's it's named as chapter two but it's chapter one so what we do is we delete this chapter and then we say heading one and then uh, under home go back here and click here and say check. right so what happens is it's because we have uh, something that has been 
tend as a heading one somewhere. All right, so what we want to we want to edit that. So we check how so it is heading two. And then chapter two, we say it's heading one. And then we start just say chapter one. And then we apply it. Right, let's just just leave it heading one here. So this is chapter one, but it's being uh, termed as chapter two, which is what is bothering me. Let me check, check, check. Right, uh, let me right click on it like this, highlight it, we start at one and then say chapter one. So this is the chapter that I have and I want it to be aligned at the center here. So every every figure that I'm going to have in uh, in this chapter uh, I can say go to references and then say insert caption then it's now figure one one because i have chosen to include chapter number and the chapter is chapter one so the first one number here is the one that is representing chapter number and then i can say that and here i can say left uh, text alignment right so that's the figure that I have so I can go back to this and right click and then update field you will see that I now have figure one one which is on page number six I can save my document I think you now understand what is going on so we're going to have some few more pictures so that you familiarize yourself with uh, insertion of captions and um, pictures and then uh, let's now have uh, central align text center text alignment All right so we just got text about central text alignment so we this is heading what this is heading three let me just check uh, the flow this left alignment was heading three years that's fine so here i can have uh, my heading three uh heading three here and then we'll say what this is center and text alignment right and then i want to copy the text from the document which is that and then uh, I can paste it. Uh, no, I don't want that. I can paste it where, 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 where is my document here. You can paste it here. And then you can see that, let me just uh, say keep text. You can see that it currently it's uh, aligned to the left. So if I want to align it to send, I can highlight it and then click here. So if you want to know the shortcut, you can just move on here. And then you see control e does uh, aligning text to the center then here if you want to align it to the right control r right so i press enter now we want to add some text about how to align the text to the center so how to align text to the center is a heading it's a size uh, it's of a style heading four so um, go to star heading four, and then I say how to 
online text to a suit. Then here I, I, I can put some some text some text notes and the text notes are here. Here are the steps and the shortcuts. Uh, I can also uh, highlight the picture. You can also highlight the picture. Right click, copy, minimize, come here, right click, and then paste. But the picture, I maybe I didn't highlight it. I can go back to the document and highlight the picture. Right click on the picture. And then say copy again right click here and then paste the picture here uh, but uh, it has been pasted let me press enter and then paste the image here you can see the image now and it's showing how you can align text to the center and how text appears when it's aligned to the center so that's it here you can see that uh, the headings are being updated here and they are being indented to the right from the left margin so that's it let's go back and see what we want next and then uh, we we add the caption our center text alignment in this image say so enter here enter once and then go to references and then insert caption figure one two okay you can actually enter the text here uh, center text alignment and then say okay you may say uh, let's let's say you may choose to exclude the text you may just say you want your your figures to be 10 to 1.2 without the term figure in the text uh, after the, the figure number right so you see enter and then uh, we now add right alignment which is of style 3 then uh, right text alignment then press enter what do you do put some text where do you get the text from you get the text from here so if you have these documents please copy open them and copy i'm sure you have received it so let's just keep text so it's left aligned so we highlight it and then on the keyboard you must uh, no this is right control r so on the keyboard you say you highlight this then you say control uh, it's now aligned to the right so you say enter then uh, heading four how to align text to the right so we put some text and this is aligned to the right as well control r uh, and then here is capital letter H. Then we press enter here. And then we enter the text under this heading, which is that. And we shall also have an image. So you now know how to copy some images. So these are the notes. And then let's insert the image from. This is the image from the computer. It's what is right alignment, right alignment, that one, and then set it. So you can also align this text or you can edit it to that. You can put some borders. But uh, yeah, let's just see it like that. And you can go to home and align it to the right like that. So you can see that uh, we now have our figure. Let's press enter so that we can uh, put the caption. So it's a caption. So it's now figure number three. Press enter and you can take the text here. 
writes text the alignment right so this is the right text alignment uh, and then the next heading is what so you can see how text is aligned to the right we want to just find now so just five let's just have a heading called just fight text just to find text right so this is without clicking anywhere this is here to match heading three so I press enter you see that it's coming it's coming like that and then just find text we have this information let's copy it and then go back to our document and then paste it there and let's just keep text so you see it's not just fight there are some inconsistencies one to the right but one to the left it's aligned so we can align it by clicking this button under paragraph and paragraph in group group which is under home table so that's text aligned now right text is now just fight so how is that done i think uh, we also need a, 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 a heading for text which tells us how it's done so how to so here is where we want my heading for to be so heading four is what it's aligned it's just fight now we type to say how to justify text and press enter and then you put some few notes and some image if not mistaken here's the here are the few notes and then you paste them here and then we can justify our text and then we choose an image to insert and this is what just fine right so again so we can put the caption references inset caption and then this is just fine text right so it appears like that and then we can save our document and then go back to that and the document that the one that we are copying and then you can see that we are now moving to next page but uh, if we open if you go back to figures table figures here you can observe that we can right click and update the field update in the entire table okay we now have these figures you see so these exist within chapter one you get what i'm saying so and here we can navigate so this is the navigation pane right so we are done with uh, chapter one let's go let's press enter 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 up until we get to the next page and the next page we're going to talk about the headers and the footers the headers and the footers right so it doesn't the first thing is uh, to say chapter two as you say boom and then initiating one chapter two is here already and then we say heading two is about what headers and footers and then we have a paragraph describing what these things are so a headers and footers so this text is now uh, aligned and then we paste our text like that and then so a header is the top margin of each page and the footer is the bottom margin of each page headers and footers are useful for including material that you want to appear on every page for a document such as your name the title of the document or page numbers 
you get what I'm saying? So you will see the page numbers in um, in some text that we wish to have, maybe the images. In this case, uh, I want to add uh, a, a, an image in our header. So let's uh, give a small description about the the header. So this header is is heading three. So I can click on heading three here and say headers. And then say I put some texts. But yeah, I repeated that text, so I don't want to repeat that text. Alright, so this is a small description about what a header is. If you want to understand these notes or if you want to read these notes, you can just pause this stream or this video content and then uh, read the notes, understand them, proceed. You will see how we add headers, you will see how we add footers. If you do not understand any concept, you may rewind the stream or you may uh, go back a bit and then repeat the same piece of video or the same piece of uh, the same clip where the concept is described but you didn't get it maybe because you um, you lost concentration because your phone was ringing or you received a whatsapp message or whatever so you repeat you can go back and repeat the concept or you can actually ask on the chat section or in the comment section and a lot of people will assist you those that are understanding and me as well i will help you through the comments right so uh the headers those are the headers and then let's have our uh, heading what heading three as well here and say footers right under footers what do we have which footers do we have what if we say that was footers so let's say you are writing this document and you are copying from the internet so what you can do is You can Google from the internet to say what is a footer, and then you can copy and paste the text. But it's not allowed to just copy and paste if you are writing um, academic documents. So here, what is a footer in Word? So you ask that. And then uh, the answer is going to be given shortly. And then uh, what we want to do is to copy that text and paste it into our document. So this is taking time. So all we're going to do is we just uh, paste this text or we'll change it as we get the answer from from the Google, from Dr. Google, right? So now what we want is let's just check our answers. Here they are. What is a footer in a document? So let's just click here and then copy this. Let's say a footer is the bottom of each page and then control C. And then we can uh, come and paste it here. So we can leave it here. The footer is the bottom of the page. It doesn't footers are used for whatever, whatever nonsense. Right. So that's it. So somebody was asking me to speak this way, but I don't want to say pretty sure. Right. Footers. We have footers that way. So. What else do we have? How to insert those footers? We just need a picture. So let's insert the picture. And insert what picture? And then we get a picture from there. It doesn't footers. So that's the picture. We can add the caption here. Caption, 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 caption under references. And then insert caption. This is chapter two. So we have figure two, one. And say okay then we type here does and footers 
and you can observe that from this image you click on insert tab and then you choose header or footer the one that you want to insert so let's now save and check our table of contents <coughs> Here's our table of contents. Let's remove this chapter one and then just update it. You can see that we now have our table of contents with a lot of text and with content. And this one we can also update it. We do not have figure two one here. You can update this and update entire table. You can see now we have chapter two. And then here you can say I uh, want this, I want to have it to here and by heading to what we have uh, this is table table of figures right, so I want this to be smart so I want to go up, up right, so table figures is there Contents is there. My other structures and so forth and so forth. So abstract must start from the top here. Must start on its own page. Then I have chapter one. And then chapter two. After all this is my chapter two and its settings so i can save this document and let's just say i want a, 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 a what a watermark i may choose to say more what more watermark let's just say custom watermark it's just taking time it's just taking time it's just taking time I want it to move fast. I don't want to waste much of the time. I don't want to take much of the time. Just uh, give me some likes if you are liking what I'm doing here. If you want a picture, you can select the picture here. If you want to pick a picture, is uh, is uh, what? Is your watermark? Let's say I want this. I want to use this as the picture watermark. You choose to use this and apply it. You can see that every document, every page is now having that as the watermark. You see it up here. It's not such as. Uh, it's just. Uh, right. So you can see that it's there. But it's appearing in the back. It's there in every page. But uh, let's say textual text text your watermark so let's say this is con danger let me say oh, let me just say yes good danger is already there apply and then say okay plus so confidential is now there in every document confidential is there I'm to zoom it, you can see confidential there, right? So that's uh, that's it. So the headers, so if I want to insert some headers, I may just choose to say, let me use me 210. Headers, this is the top margin of each page, so this is it here where I am uh, moving the case. You can double click there the moment you double click or continuously click. Uh, it's just taking time. Maybe it's because I have. Right, let me double click there. And put the top area of the page. So here. That's, uh, that's what. That's, uh, that's the head area. In the bottom of the page, that's the foot. So what we want to add here is the uh, heading text, but we want to have some images so you can say insert, insert uh, what an image and in, in, the images that we want to want to get them from. Uh, it's here. Images I want to add the 
that image let's choose this one and so you have that and then here we can say uh, you can put the title to say uh, word processing program two All right and then copy this and then paste it there so what we have done here is we can actually edit this to say i want it to be of that size so you see that uh, you can see that the the image is also moving so i can i can press tab on the keyboard say tab and then uh, maybe reduce the size of the text because i want let me just align the text to the center of it like this so you see that my text is now aligned to the center and i can zoom the text and then the moment it overlaps or it goes to the next line i can reduce the size and then i can bold it i can style it to whatever i want so let me style it to that and then bold it so word processing and then I want this color this blue color uh, it's not matching the image color so let me choose this blue color All right so that's the header and it's going to appear on each and every page so if you go to the first page all the other pages they are now having it so that's one way of you can double click on top of every page and you can edit the header if you want to get out of the header area you can double click inside the page like that or what you can do is you can click on insert and then you can choose header and then you can choose the header type that you want but you have already done that so let's use this format to insert a footer so the footer we choose uh, the footer this footer which footer do you want to choose let's just choose this one and then type here to say uh, this is shiksa document maybe it's assignment this is shiksa's assignment one this is shiksa's assignment ten whatever so shiksa's document and then inside the brackets, I can say C1212732A. And then close the brackets. And then I can maybe format this text to say I want it to be aligned to the center. And I want it to be bolded. And I want this kind of style. Or whatever the style I want. Let me choose to have it. Let uh, me choose this one. And then increase the size. So that it becomes visible and then i can save it and then if i want to get out i can double click on inside this uh, the page so every page is now having this header and this footer what is left is the page numbering so i can just say from wherever i am i can say insert then page number here I want my pages I want the page number to be inserted at the top like that but you see that the header this page number is removed what it is removed the header that we have inserted earlier so don't worry about that uh, if you still want the, the, the images you can still edit so we've inserted the page numbers so let's click and check is this page number one so this is page number one page number two page number three but i don't want these pages to be numbered this way i don't want them to be page number to be numbered that way 
I don't want it to, to, be, to be numbered that way. So what I do is, uh, I will do it this way. The last page, this is the last page, page number four. That's the page, from page number four, going upwards. I want it to be numbered differently. So I click here, somewhere at the end of this page. Then I say layout. Right, so we get here and then we say in uh, layout and then breaks, we add a break and then we say next page. So we want to break from this page going to page number, page number five. So we want to insert a break to say from page number four going upwards to say page number four three two and one it's one document and it's, diff it's different from other documents from page number five and so forth so that document the second document is the one that is to be numbered in a certain format from starting from number one and the previous from whatever uh, number four formatting so we say next page the moment we say next page we now say um, insert and then we say page number we choose the format or whatever and then here we now have page number five so we can click on page number here and then format page numbers and then we want it to be of that format and then here are more formats let's say we want it to be numbered a b c and starting from a and then save it and click here we now have a B, page B, page C, and so forth. So, uh, if we go to the first page, you will find that it's numbered as this. So, you can double click there and then page number, and then you can click on page format, and then start at one. And you want it to be of that format, and then click OK, and then you double click. We are done. So, that's it. That's it. So from the notes, you can observe that uh, one of the documents is having the procedures of doing all these. The, the last slide is having all the procedures of uh, uh, page numbering and uh, different page formats on, uh, on one document. So thank you very much for watching uh, me, for having me. Thanks very much for paying attention. Please uh, subscribe 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 like 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 comment so that i improve on my channel give me more likes give me comments suggestions and so forth don't forget to share this with your loved ones friends colleagues and family members if necessary enjoy the rest of your day